Imagine driving a car at 500 miles an hour, then double it. Rocket systems prime. This is what that might look and sound like. Faster than the speed of sound, it's a dream that a team of British engineers have spent £10 million hoping to achieve. The Bloodhound supersonic racing car is slowly taking shape. Its cockpit, the only part that's totally complete, has been made to measure for the pilot, wing commander Andy Green. It's going to be a fairly extreme set of physical sensations. We've got a huge amount of power in this car, 135,000 thrust horsepower. It's going to be accelerating at over 2G, 40 miles an hour per second. The energy that's going on over the cockpit and the noise that comes through to me is going to be quite shattering. So I've got a lot of sound protection built into the cockpit, built into my earphones. It will still be very noisy. A team of 60 people has spent the last seven years working on the project, using technology that's a mix of Formula One and aerospace. The rear of the Bloodhound will house not one but three engines, including a V8, a jet and a rocket. All that will combine to reach land speeds, hopefully faster than ever before. It's not just about breaking records. Almost all the aspects of the design and the build are available online something that's unusual for an engineering project on this scale. Well, normally if you're in F1, you don't want to give away your competitive advantage. You don't want to share the drawings or the potential cars that you're going to be releasing. With us, we are designing a one in a million car. It's, um, we've the only ones with a Typhoon jet engine. Um, you can't really steal necessarily the drawings that we've got, so we can, we're able to share everything that we're doing. The first attempt to break the 1,000 mile an hour barrier will be made in the South African desert next year, when all those many hours of work will rely on finding one thing, the perfect run. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News, Bristol.